Hey, it's AW and we back today, guys. Today I want to discuss why dual bankas are the hardest to tame. So let's jump right into it. I apologize, guys. I've been playing a lot of Street Fighter uh, 6. And I've also been working, and that's the reason I haven't really been able to um, get some of the videos that I really want to get out. But I'm getting through them, uh, and, and I am going to get through some of the uh, suggestions you guys made as well. So I appreciate you guys' patience. So let's dive right into it. When Renji spoke to Ichibi during his training at the Soul King's Palace, after training, Renji and Rukia's spiritual pressure in their bodies, Ichibi proceeds to tell Renji that the name of Renji's Bankai is only half complete, meaning even in Bankai form, Renji was only using half of Zombie Maru's power. As when a character achieves Bankai, it is assumed that character is utilizing his Zanpakuto's full name and full power, as one cannot achieve Bankai without knowing the true name of his Zanpakuto. This is relatively true, unless your Bankai possesses two souls. For us to fully understand why Renji's Bankai look different, and is more powerful, we have to look into the Zanpakuto Rebellion arc. Now, I know this is a filler arc, but it really helped me understand the nature of Zanpakuto's and their wielders. If you'll notice, the double soul Bankai, such as Kiyoraku, Ukitake, and Renji, and Ichigo, were some of the most difficult Bankai's to tame due to the requirement of having to learn both of the Zanpakuto's names, both of the swords' names, because they're dual swords, but they're one. I'm going to tell you, if you will notice, those with two Zanpakuto's are some of the strongest Shinigamis within the Bleach verse. And to be clear, the Shinigami are the only warriors in Bleach that practice Nito Ryu style, the two sword technique coined by Musashi Miyamoto, the sword saint himself. The Shinigami with two swords are always captain level Shinigami or higher. Every character that utilizes two swords or has two souls for their Zanpakuto, they have to taming their dual so swords. They are some of the most strongest and powerful characters within the Bleach verse. This is for two reasons. Number one, as I stated in my previous video, the Nitu Ryu was considered to be the best style for swordsmen, especially katana wielders. But I believe those with dual weapons allow themselves techniques that one swordsman users do not have. They have certain follow-ups, certain swings, and different combinations that ultimately can lead to higher offense. Ultimately, two swords increases your offensive ability if you know how to use them. Miyamoto Musashi, the founder of the Nitu Ryu, the great sword saint, increases one's offense and it also increases one's defense as well. The second reason is that having to tame two Zanpak toes is more difficult than one as even if they are twin weapons, they still have their own soul, which means both those Zanpak toes souls have to be tamed to draw out the full power of one Zanpak toe. Renji's sword, Su Zambumaru, was originally just a ranged weapon. Through, through him learning his Zanpakuto's real name, his Zanpakuto turns into a ranged and close quarter weapon. There is not a single Shinigami with, within Bleach that practiced the Nito Ryu that did not achieve captain level status. Now, I know many scalers will question whether Renji actually possesses two swords due to his Shikai and Bankai being one sword but that has to do to his shikai actually being one sword and his bankai not being fully developed and him not realizing the full name the soul zambumaru being a physically connected double bankai Renji actually possesses two swords due to his shikai and bankai being one sword but that is due to his shikai actually being one sword due to Su Zambumaru being a physically connected double Bankai. So what do I mean by this? If you will notice during the Zanpakuto Rebellion arc, Zambumaru was connected at the tail 
or should we say so Zambu Maru, was connected at the tail. The name that Renji was missing was So, the larger of the two. After learning his true Zanpakuto name, Renji Zanpakuto is now at full power, with Renji still having room to grow as a Shinigami. The difference between Renji's original Bankai and his new one is that his new Bankai is much more powerful and has much more utility than his original Zombie Maru. For example, his left arm is a mid-range or range his left arm is a range or mid-range weapon and is capable of providing tremendous pressure similar to a gorilla's hands, only much stronger due to Renji utilizing spiritual pressure to produce that type of pressure and power. One thing we have to note is that when we're discussing Renji's left arm, it can also be utilized for defense, you know, catching things, blocking certain attacks. His right arm is for long range or close quarter combat, making Renji's Bankai even more dangerous. He is able to project a long range energy based technique through his right arm that has a similar look to his bon original Bankai, only its energy, a large amount of energy is. This new So Zambumaru is superior in three ways. It allows Renji more movement with his Bankai, as his previous Bankai was actually one of the larger and most cumbersome Bankais of the high level Shinigami within the verse. The second reason is that his Bankai had very little close range mechanics or strategies, making it a one dimensional Bankai. The third reason is the left arm or second sword of So Zambumaru can be utilized defensively to guard Renji from projectiles and physical attacks. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Is Renji's new Bankai an improvement? Or do you think his old Bankai was better? And what is what are you guys' opinion on characters within the Ble Bleach verse possessing dual swords or having two Bankais? Are they usually more powerful than the average Shinigami who has one sword Let me know what you guys think In the comment, comment section down below This is AW and I'm out